Hello there. This is our daily lectionary readings for Friday as we look ahead to Sunday for Advent 3. Friday, December 9th, 2022. Our three daily lectionary readings, Psalm 146, once again, verses 5 through 10 for our psalm reading. We're continuing in the book of Ruth a little bit further along, Ruth 4, 13 through 17 for our Old Testament reading. And then 2 Peter chapter 3, Verses 11 through 18 is going to be our New Testament reading. I'm going to take a moment here and I am going to flip up and click the message link and hit the message search. And we're going to read the scripture out of the message today. Psalm 146. Don't put your life in the hands of experts who know nothing of life, salvation life. Mere humans don't have what it takes. When they die, their projects die with them. Instead, get help from the God of Jacob. Put your hope in God and know real blessings. God made sky and soil, sea, and all the fish in it. He always does what he says. He defends the wrong. He feeds the hungry. God frees prisoners. He gives sight to the blind. He lifts up to the fallen. God loves good people protects strangers, takes the side of orphans and widows, but makes short work of the wicked. God in charge always. Zion's God is God for good. Hallelujah. The Old Testament reading comes from the book of Ruth, chapter 4, verses 13 through 17. Boaz married Ruth. She became his wife. Boaz slept with her. By God's gracious gift, she conceived and had a son. The town woman said to Naomi, Blessed be God. He didn't leave you without family to carry on your life. May this baby grow up to be famous in Israel. He'll make you young again. He'll take care of you in old age. And this daughter-in-law who has brought him into the world and loves you so much, why, She's worth more to you than seven sons. Naomi took the baby and held him in her arms, cuddling him, cooing over him, waiting on him hand and foot. The neighborhood women started calling Naomi's baby boy, but his real name was Obed. Obed was the father of Jesse, and Jesse was the father of David. Our New Testament reading comes from the book of 2 Peter Chapter 3, verses 11 through 18. Since everything here today might well be gone tomorrow, do you see how essential it is to live a holy life? Daily expect the day of God, eagle for his arrival. The galaxies will burn up and the elements melt down that day, but we'll hardly notice. We'll be looking the other way, ready for the promised new heavens and the promised new earth, all landscape with righteousness. So, my dear friends, since this is what you have to look forward to, do your very best to be found living at your best, in purity and in peace. Interpret our Master's patient restraint for what it is, salvation. Our good brother Paul, who was given much wisdom in these matters, refers to this in all of his letters and has written you essentially the same thing. Some things Paul writes are difficult to understand. Irresponsible people who don't know what they are talking about twist them every which way. They do it to the rest of the scripture too, destroying themselves as they do it. But for you, friends, are well warned. Be on the guard, lest you lose your footing and get swept off your feet by these lawless and loose-talking teachers. Grow in grace and understanding of our Master and Savior, Jesus Christ. Glory to the Master, now and forever. Yes!